Let's go live to Government House in Queensland. David Crucifuli is being sworn in as the state's new Premier. That is addressed to you by each of those ministers required to resign as a Minister of the State and from each of those members required to resign as a member of the Executive Council. Let's uh, bring in Phil Thompson. He's the member for Herbert in Townsville. Phil, we're looking at these pictures coming in to us from Government House. The new Premier being sworn in officially, his wife Tegan there, uh, his uh, deputy Jared Blay, his wife Sally in attendance. Um, Lauren Springborg there, the, the head of the, the party at an operational level. What's your feeling today as the LNP about to take the, the reins of power in Queensland, Phil? I'm excited for the people of Queensland. It is uh, um, a, a good day. It's a good step forward and uh, people voted with their feet. People in Townsville uh, wanted change and we changed all three seats here. Uh, the, the swing across the country um, is to us and it's, it's really good to see that the, the Premier, uh, David Crisofulli, uh, getting sworn in and getting straight to work. Yes, and uh, an emphatic win in the end. There was a... a, a a suggestion, a, a sense that the polls had shifted back to Labor more at the end of the campaign. Maybe not the landslide that some had suggested. They've still got uh, in the 30s the number of seats in Parliament, the opposition, the new opposition, but an emphatic win nonetheless. Let's have a listen to the Queensland Governor now as this swearing-in takes place. Yeah, Phil, a fair bit of paperwork with the former Chief Medical Officer. A lot of our viewers might notice uh, and recognise Jeanette Young. Very prominent figure during the COVID years, Phil. Yeah, she was. And as the, the uh, Chief Health Officer and now uh, the Governor of Queensland, I'm, I'm sure she's uh, very methodical with going through all the paperwork. But, uh, yes, lots of people will be <laughs> recognising her. Uh, and she also comes to Townsville quite regularly. But uh, it's good to good to see. And I'm sure David's sitting there going, oh, let's move, let's move through this quicker so he can get back out there and start doing his job. Well, you know, uh, in your neck of the woods, the crime issue was, was uh, the number one in terms of the campaign, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely. Crime is the number one, two and three issue here in Townsville. And uh, people, whether they were supportive of other parties, other um, they, they all said that crime is the biggest issue. And, and that's why the vote uh, went the way it did here. Uh, three strong candidates now all going to become MPs. Uh, but I, I said the same thing to them as I've said to uh, other MPs in the past is, you, you must act on all your promises. We must fix the crime here in Townsville. People shouldn't be feeling like prisoners are in their own home. And I'll hold them accountable like they should do to me as yeah. well. I text David and said, you know, we need to get on now, mate, and uh, we need to implement we uh, these laws that keep people safe. Charles Let's see if we can pick him up as now. As lawful sovereign of Australia and to his heirs and successors according to law, and I will well and truly serve the people of Queensland in the office of Premier. Thanks. Now sign your oaths. We got that uh, swearing in. We caught a bit of that there, Phil. But yeah, so say, repeat that for us if you can. What your message to to David was as a, a federal member? What was your um, your insight into his challenges as he's kicking off this new role? Well, my message to David, to his team throughout Queensland, the three new uh, MPs we have here is. Uh, Promises need to be enacted. People want to feel safe in their homes 
and we need policies that protect them. I'll hold him accountable just like they should hold me accountable. But we need uh, MPs throughout the state to be listening, working and delivering. I expect that from David. I expect it from the MPs here. And I want to see the high crime rate that we face in Townsville uh, dropping uh, very low because we shouldn't be having people in our community scared or carjacked at knife point. We, we need action and we need policies that do it. Were you surprised that he put his job on the line in relation to this if the numbers don't fall to below where they are now? No, I loved it. I thought it was great. As soon as he said that uh, he would resign if he doesn't drop the crime rate, oh, and he's putting it all on the table. Uh, our job is to serve the community, not, not serve just the, or the party or, or self-interest. You've got to serve the people. And for him to say that, I think it shows conviction. Uh, it'll be tough, but he needs to do it. The big round of applause. It's official. He is the next Premier.